Hey guys, uh, just a quick message to you. Uh, I am in uh, self-isolation. I did some traveling that I had to do. I went and got some groceries that I had to get and now I am self-isolated for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've got a little bit of experience of having to hang out by myself and survive. Uh, and I want to impart some of that knowledge and experience onto you. Uh, for starters, number one, I want to try to bring a sense of peace and calm to you and that first step is to avoid the headlines, guys. They are using an incredible amount of hyperbole and dark language. The systems are still working, and so right after this, I've got a video for you, a little vignette, uh, showing you what happened uh, with me a few days back now, before this, uh, before I, I basically went to get the groceries I needed, and I've been isolated ever since. Uh, yes, there are some unfortunate sets of circumstances that are happening, but there are also a lot of really good and wonderful people who do not have the option and do not have the choice to stay home. And there are many people in great service right now. So, all right, let's care for each other. Watch this little clip here and um, watch for some more very soon. By the way, I'm outside taking my dogs for a hike. And that is the number one greatest thing you can do right now is go get outside, find a trail to hike, um, go cycling, go fishing if you can, anything. Oh, one other thing. Uh, if you look below, you will see links to um, uh, different agencies that have excellent information on how to deal with this pandemic, uh, as well as the actual details of what's involved when you are being ordered to shelter in place. It is not as scary as you think. There are lots of freedoms involved with that. Uh, we are not under martial law. We're not under lockdown. We're just simply doing the right thing to get this virus isolated and out of the way. Stay safe. Here's what happened. The first store I went to was my wonderful, as I like to call it, my wonderful hippie organic uh, store. And take a look at these. It was fantastic. They were, everybody was calm. They were nice. There were plenty of things on the shelf, plenty of fresh food. It was wonderful. Second place I went to was same kind of idea, uh, very earthy, organic-y kind of place, uh, but uh, larger. And same thing, everybody was calm, the place was not packed, nobody was panicked. There were a couple of items that were thinned down a bit, but for the most part, plenty of stuff. Third place I went to, this place called Fred Meyer, big grocery store. Now there I started to see some of the empty shelves, but again, look around. Even with the empty shelves, there was plenty of food. Look at the fresh produce here. The last two places I went to, were Walmart and Winco. Now look at these. It's hard to comment on this because what I'm seeing is so unnecessary. Everything being denuded. Perhaps in the end, this is a wonderful reminder that we should be supporting our local growers, our local farmers, our local butchers, our local creameries, our local gardens, and especially our local stores, our family-run businesses. Perhaps this is a wonderful message to get out of this, is to shop in a way that supports your local community, where people are calm. Now, I will say this much. Uh, I did see signs, at least in Winco, for the limiting. And thankfully, in the case of, of a store like Winco, they are limiting the hoarding. You cannot hoard there now. And this was, this was just genius. They're refusing returns on items where you've clearly hoarded. So you can't go back with your 800 rolls of toilet paper and your 150 bottles of hand sanitizer. Uh, it will be refused and you're stuck with it. There's a big, big difference between preparing and hoarding. Preparing we can do with a light heart. We can do it carefully. We can practice extreme social safety with our social distancing. We can plan it out. We know what we need. We don't lollygag when we're there, get what we need and go home. The supply chain is still rolling. It's still going. The items will be there. Look again at all this fresh produce. Isn't it ironic that it's the junk food that everybody is hoarding, that people are going after all this gunky junk food? Buy fresh food, buy healthy, 
I mean, you can buy healthy and you can do a lot. Now, this is perishable food, yes, but there's a lot we can do with it, and that'll be in the next video. I want to put in this tip as well. What can we do while we are waiting this out? How about we go hiking? The nature trails are not closed. We can go out and hike, take your dogs for a walk, go cycling, go fishing, whatever it takes, get outside.